Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. I just uh, opened up this Amazon package and got my um, iFixit anti-static project tray out of there. Um, it's kind of this um, sort of flexible plastic. I think it's, there's some silicone in it. Um, uh, anti-static uh, organizer that allows you to put small parts in while you're doing projects. And I was gonna show you a couple things about it. Um, because of the uh, nature of the material, it shouldn't be uh, staticky. I'm watching how much dust is sticking to the thing. Um, it says anti-static plastic uh, prevents electrical electricity buildup, safe for sensitive electronics, simplifies things, etc. Um, anyway, I've been using all kinds of you know different organizers, from small tackle boxes to you know these kinds of uh, organizers. Um, another one, but anyway, the, when you start working on something small, like, or with something with tiny parts, I mean, you're working with, with, uh, fasteners that are, are so hard to see, let alone store, um, you know, and organize. And then they come in not only, uh, obviously different fastener heads, but also different lengths different sizes, um, and just trying to keep things organized um, gets really tough. So um, iFixit has been making these wonderful um, and quite affordable um, driver bit sets designed specifically for the um, small electronics market. Um, I've used things like, you know, here's my little DeWalt magnetic tray. Um, I have, sometimes have multiple magnetic trays, but a lot of these are not magnetic, these screws. Um, or I, I'm using other parts. There's plastics, there's ribbon wire and a ribbon cable. There's um, all sorts of little odds and ends. So that's where the project tray comes in. And uh, a couple of the things you can do with a project tray, um, obviously you can use it as a standard organizer, but you can also kind of annotate it. So let's say I was working on this phone, which is um, the iPhone that I swapped out the screen on and the put in the white button. Um, I was losing the ability to use the, the Touch ID anyway, so I've totally lost the Touch ID, but it just switches over to the passcode. Um, but anyway, so if I was working on a phone like that, I might actually, you know, I can lay this down on here and uh, maybe I'll make an indexing line so I know that that's the bottom and maybe I'll cut that off. So I'm working in this, this area right here. And then what I could do, um, depending if I, how well I know what I'm going to get into, um, you know, is I could just draw the phone right there. So what I've got now is kind of a, you know, geolocation of where things will be. Or I could do something specific. So um, if I drew the phone over here, um, there might be aspects of that phone. So maybe um, I, might I might make the phone kind of into quadrants, or um, I could isolate specific areas. Like here, um, I might have, here's the button, and I could put that in a specific spot. Um, I've got the, it's kind of slippery on this, maybe the, the speaker arrangement here. Um, or maybe the, the indexing screws or the um, attachment screws index down here. Um, I could have, um, you know, I, I could draw the, you know, say the ribbon cable connectors where those are gonna be. And then when I lay this over, that's where I'd put the screws for those, those particular connectors. You know, if I need to annotate them a little bit better. Um, so as I take parts out, I can drop them into the specific areas. Um, you can even download um, images, or you could take your own and print it, of what something looks like. So if I did this, and I was working on the top, I could actually have a photograph of this, um, or even components, um, and then overlay those, and then actually, <clears throat> yeah, I could blow it up and then have this area be this area here on my project tray so I can drop the actual screw into either its own area or even its own um, compartment. Um, and then it's got some places for bits. Sometimes, like when I'm using these, I might have, you know, three or four bits out and I need some place to, 
you know, maybe I'll put them down here, or I could put them with the fastener that I used because that allows me to um, kind of maintain some consistency. So as I'm filling this up with, with uh, different screws or something, you know, I can actually put the fastener that goes with it. So like the bottom, you know, the pentalope, you know, would go with, if this was it, it, that would go down there with these two screws. So using project trays is, is really handy. This was like $6.99, you know, per free prime shipping off Amazon. Um, and it actually, uh, well, that's kind of staticky right there. Look at that. Don't know about this, but anyway, um, for the simplicity, um, the transparency, uh, easily worth it. Um, and you can use it for bigger projects. You can use it for liquid and clean it out if you want. Um, but it's definitely not a huge investment, but saves a ton of time. So if you do small projects um, or small electronics or uh, need to organize small things, um, the little uh, iFixit project tray so far seems to Seems to be a good one, although I'm going to have to check out that staticness. I'm usually not terribly worried today um, about it, but that is something to consider. So with that, Doc out.